Hey guys, welcome to today's video. How is it going? We're gonna settle on in and walk on the wild side of AI. I don't know why this stuff freaks me out so much, but I am personally trying to get over my fear of things like ChatGPT. Have you guys investigated? Have you been talking to ChatGPT? Are you saying please and thank you and feeling like you are talking to a real person because that has been my experience? And what happened last night blew my mind. I was sitting here doing research. I wanted to know about certain ingredients, things I can't pronounce, looking at comparable things and talking all makeup to ChatGPT. GPT, and then it dawned on me that I could ask for dupes. And whenever I would ask for a dupe, it would spit out like five things. And I would just type more please. And like another list would come out. And I'm like, gosh, I never thought of this as a dupe for that. You know, we see a lot of the dupes from Elf, you know, oh, the Charlotte Tilbury, this, here's the Elf one for that. We've seen a lot of viral dupes, like we know what they are, but this feels more like a hidden gem list. And if some of these work out, I'm gonna be really excited. I think some of them will, I think some of them might not, but we are gonna do this together. We're gonna apply half the face luxury, half the face Walmart, and just see what happens. Tell me in the comments, what are you drinking today? Caffeine, water, are you doing something exciting? I'm having my yerba mate. Let's scooch in a little closer and get to applying a full face of dupes with my robot friend. What do we think of the straight hair? I'm kind of into it. I kind of like it, but for some reason, it makes me wanna wear like really natural makeup. I don't know. Okay, so before we dive on in, woo! Okay, so the first thing we are gonna dive on into is primer. We're gonna do Tarte on this side of my face without my um, sunspot. <laughs> is that so hilarious that like every time, every freaking time I do a dupes, I'm always like, oh, like which side? Um, okay, so we're going to pick the left side of my face to do a little pore fill. I'm going a little more aggressive. I normally only go in this section, but I kind of want to see just comparably if we can get a pore fill smoothing situation from the drugstore version that might be somehow magically better. I asked ChatGPT, of course, this is my favorite primer from Tarte. This is the Timeless Smoothing Primer Base, if it had any dupes. The one that it came up with was the Magic Base from L'Oreal, which, oh my gosh, I went to CVS also hunting it down. Walmart did not have it. I think you can still buy it online, but I was actually doing an ingredient side by side and that one really, Mm, I've tried it in the past, but my skin is different now than when I first tried it. And I feel in my bones that it would work out and I'm gonna try and hunt it down. But instead, we're gonna be using this NYX Pore Filler Primer Base that has a completely different, totally different packaging situation, which I actually like that ChatGPT does not just base the recommendations from what I could tell off of like, how similar do they look? This one's in a jar, this one's in a squeezy tube. It's like ingredients and then also what the product does. And it's so weird. You will get, ooh, you will get an explanation as to why it is comparable. Yo, actually the texture of the product is very similar. This is straight up dimethicone. So if you're looking for a silicone free primer, this is not it. If you have an issue with silicone, kind of like breaking you out, something like that, uh, this is not it. I would recommend the silicone free pore filler from Wet n Wild. If you want something that's like this texture, that is not heavy in dimethicones, that would be the winner. This is nice though. It feels like velvet on the skin. Um, on the back of my hand, it immediately blurred my hand. I am um, speechless. All right, so what really got my interest in my intense, passionate conversation with ChatGPT, um, I wanted to know a dupe for this. Expensive, foundation. I don't think anyone has really successfully duped this online. This is such a special, special foundation from La Mer. It is the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. And let's see what my new friend had to say. A drugstore dupe for La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, could be L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I then took it a step further and I said, I'm wearing the shade 310 Beige from La Mer. 
what would be a comparable shade from the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And I legit got a match immediately, 207 Sand Beige. I looked on Google because I was like, this is just too weird. And it was a pretty dang good match. I did end up getting two shades just in case I got 206 and 207. So let's go ahead with La Mer first. Recently, this is like a random foundation tip. A lot of people over on IG were like, how do you not get your foundation to collect in your nose area, like right here? You gotta go in. You literally gotta take your finger and kind of like blend the nostril <laughs> forward. Take your beauty blender or whatever you're using. Like don't, just be fearless. You know what I'm saying? Like get in there. And it'll likely still throughout the day crease a little bit, but not as bad if you actually like get the product in there. Natural, radiant, easy to apply, seamless, so good. Let's go in with 207. I mean, not bad, right? Are we seeing like there is like a nice radiance over here? Okay, this one is not creasing as much either. The La Mer side is creasing a little bit, and this one is not. I might have a, a new foundation love. Okay, preferences can change as our skin changes. I remember trying that one and just being like, meh, because I needed like mattifying galore because my skin was still pretty oily when that first launched. But now I'm a little bit drier and that is quite nice. All right, we're gonna go in with concealer. I don't think these two really have that much in common, to be honest, um, but it is what was recommended, which is what I went off of for this experiment. I said, dupe for Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer, which I was supposed to get rid of in my sealer. sealer. Um, I, I changed my mind at the last moment. I put this in the like in-between bin. Just don't judge me. I have issues. Um, so this one right here is Dior and then L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, 24 hour wear. This is the one they said was the dupe, but this one's full coverage and this isn't. So that was the only thing that had me kind of side eyeing chat GPT, you know? So we're gonna go in and just do a little this, a little this, a little this, a little this. The doe foot applicator and everything reminds me of shape tape, but you know, let's see. I'm gonna flip my sponge and I should have two sponges, but it is what it is. Shoot, can you tell a difference? <laughs> oh my gosh, my robot friend is like really doing me a solid. Okay, so we're now gonna go in with a little bit of Fit Me powder from Maybelline. I do love this powder. I already know I love this powder. It is a good one. I'm gonna go in with a peach velour puff on the drugstore side. Beautiful. We're gonna go into Peach Pie from Huda Beauty. Wildly more fragranced. You know what I'm saying? Like wildly. Woo! That's the one thing, the one thing I don't like about this powder, because this powder is gorgeous. Really enjoying the peach, by the way, update for you. Um, but the fragrance still makes me go, ugh, hold my breath, you know. I think Huda might be winning. I think Huda's winning this one. No, Maybelline might be, oh my gosh, Maybelline might be winning. Like honestly, ChatGPT, what do you know? What do you know? I'm a little weirded out. All right, this one, I'm like, no way. This is just not gonna do it. This is just not, these are two very different things, all right? We have the Guerlain Terracotta in shade one. Now this is a luminescent, naturally derived pigments and luminescent shimmers. This is not a matte bronzer. It is a very iconic bronzer. And I have been going in with this big beefy brush right here from Simple Girl. It was sent to me, it's such a good brush. Oh my gosh. I kind of go a little bit aggressive in here. I will go up here. Guerlain bronzers are just honestly, luxurious and they are bronzers that I always go back to. 
every professional makeup artist out there loves these bronzers, has these bronzers in their kit. They're just, they work. They're not harsh. You layer them up. Beautiful, beautiful bronzer. And nothing looks muddy or dirty or orange or choppy. It's just a dream. So now I'm gonna clean the brush. ChatGPT was very convinced that the True Match Lumi Bronzit Sunkissed Bronzer for face and body from L'Oreal was a dupe. Now this seems to have an overspray of, is that, yeah, it's a little bit of an overspray. I'm gonna kind of take that off a little bit just to play fair. We're gonna go in here. I think this is gonna be more pigmented, but let's, yeah, this is way more pigmented. Okay, not a dupe. So you can tell the difference in blending. Same brush, I cleaned this one off. The Guerlain side just does the, the blending for you. It's such a nice, just beautifully milled formula that really is goof proof. You layer it up. It might be a little more time consuming because you don't get that initial lay down of a ton of pigment all at once. But if you want something that looks really natural and blended and you don't even want to think when you are popping it on, go with Guerlain. It's a great investment, good luxury product to spend your money on. Um, if you want something drugstore, oh, this is nice. I actually prefer the infallible bronzers from L'Oreal to this, but I do love that pan size. So I specifically asked for a dupe for the shade Blushing Bride from Tarte, the Amazonian clay blushes. I love these blushes. They are long wear, they are gorgeous. Love this shade. I don't think that ChatGPT got it right with this. So the shade match and formula match that they recommended, well, maybe actually now seeing them side by side. That's so weird. Uh, okay, so we're, Yes, this is my luxurious side. I'm gonna go here. Now we're gonna go into Maybelline. Yo, stop this right now. Uh, you guys, like, are you seeing this? It's applying. That is wild. That I'm mind blown right now. Okay, that's a good one. And then I also totally agree and already know that this is gonna be a slam dunk dupe. I have talked about this being a dupe before, so I was like, yes, we are on the same page. Totally agree with you. For highlight today, I am gonna be using ambient powder from Hourglass in Dim Light. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I almost like this one better, which is crazy because of the price point, but we're gonna go in and something new that I have been doing is applying it with a velour puff. So we're gonna go in over here and just kind of pat over this area here. Do you see that? It's beautiful. It does not accentuate any texture, what have you. You can kind of go up here a little bit. We'll take the other powder puff for dim light, do the same thing on the other side. Just add such a nice glow to the skin. So this is not an aggressive highlight. This is just gonna add more radiance. Do you see how the essence is a little bit more showy? Both are nice, both are great. All right. Moving on, brows, brows, brows. I'm excited about this. I've been back into Anastasia Brow Wiz. I love how this makes my brows look. I am so hooked, I'm gonna buy the larger one. This is in the shade Soft Brown. The recommendation from ChatGPT was Ash Brown Brow Stylist Definer because of the ultra fine tip. So let me start with a little Anastasia. What did I just do? Uh. This does have an ultra, ultra fine tip, the L'Oreal version. I feel like I'm gonna be a snob and immediately be like, no, the Brow Wiz is better. Just because I don't like brow products that often. And if I find something that really has the right texture and makes my brows look filled in and not fake, I'm all about it. And that's what the Brow Wiz does. 
And I can't believe I hadn't tried it in so many years. The only reason I have it right now is because I did the video trying products that I used to love. And I'm so happy I did that video. The L'Oreal looks good. It looks so super nice, but also this is my good brow. And so there's an advantage, unfair advantage, you know? And I also like bumped the beginning of the brow, like with too much pressure. I went, eh. I'm like defending brow whiz, you know what I'm saying? Let's put on a little lip before we get to the rest of the eyes. Now this is where I step in and I'm like, chat GPT, you are letting me down. I didn't like the dupe that it gave me. I had it already in my extensive lip liner collection, which so needs to be edited. I have too many lip liners, it's ridiculous. But I had on hand, a dupe according to ChatGPT for Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Super Size Me. Let's go ahead and put Super Size Me over on our luxury side. I love this liner. It does super size you. Ugh. Let me not talk while I do this. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, what ChatGPT recommended is the Color Riche L'Oreal Lip Liner in Natural. This one, to me, is just too dark. And the point is way finer because it's retractable. Like it's similar, right? But I think I have one better and that is the shade Fantasy from Honey Bee Gardens. This is 10 bucks on Amazon and the formula is so good. Okay, not perfect, but not bad, right? Lip gloss. Did I fail on the lip gloss? I sure did. Every single lip gloss recommendation that ChatGPT had, they didn't sell. So we're just gonna skip that one. We're gonna use a little Fenty to go with the whole, like, it's like a rose theme that I'm doing right now, really into it. Okay, back to the eyes. I'm inclined to just put bronzer in the crease and do liner and lashes. That has been a bit more of my everyday go-to, but I think that we should try from Maybelline, Sunlit Bronze 500, which apparently is a nice shade dupe for Golden Mink from Tom Ford. I know they're gonna be different, but I still, I still wanna just give it a go. Well, they have a similar vibe, right? Is the texture gonna be that similar? Probably not, but let's let's go for it. I am gonna go in with bronzer first in the crease. We'll do a little Guerlain on our luxury side. Just kind of messy, almost up to the high point of my brow. We're just shading in a little bit of definition that's just blurred. You can't even see it, but it does just enough that it's worth this step, okay. And now we will clean the brush and use L'Oreal on the other side. Same thing. And now I'm gonna go into the deeper brown here. I'm just gonna give a little definition to the outer edge of my eye. Clean the brush. We will dip into the darker shade from Maybelline. Yeah, not the same. Similar, but not quite the same. I am gonna go in to this more kind of peachy top coat shade, and we're just going to lay this down, pat it on the eye for a little shimmer. And then I'm gonna go in to kind of the golden shade right here and mix it in with a little bit of the more peachy toned kind of one, lighter one. We're kind of trying to make this work, you know? Yeah, those are different for sure. It's pretty though, like here's the thing. It is pretty. Tom Ford just has that more luxurious sequin finish and this is more metallic, but the colors are quite spot on. Let's get into liner. We have the Stila Stay All Day Micro Liner in Matte Black and I have from Maybelline the Master Precise Skinny Automatic Pencil. These look very similar. I like a teeny tiny bitty tip. If you wanna do something more like tight lining, um, if you wanna conceal a lash band, just having something on hand like this that is fine. You're not gonna get that from a sharpened up pencil or your traditional 
sized retractable pencils either. This little tip just makes such a big difference. So we are going to line and line. Oh my gosh, this one is so dried out. Oh my gosh, why? I'm a little bit disappointed because this Stila one, I have not had that long and it is so dried out. So we're gonna go ahead on the drugstore side and see what happens. And if this is so much better, then we're just going to adjust our sails and fix the other side. Yeah, oh, this is better. The Stila one, it's very matte and very budge proof long wear, but man, it dries out fast. That is really nice, really rich. We're gonna just use this one on the other side and fix the situation here. Really great glide to this too. I can tell that this black liner kind of wants to move. So random tip within the video, I love doing that for you guys always. If you have a liner that has a little bit too much of a slip, it's already collecting in that inner corner and you can kind of tell like, oh shoot, this looks really pretty, but it might cause me problems hours from now. Let me make sure I'm happy with how that's looking first before I lock it in. Oh my gosh, the steel on one was so dry that it just like crumbled all over my face. What I do in this instance is I make sure I find a setting spray that has alcohol as one of the ingredients. This sure does. You want to not like close up to the eye, kind of far away. Make sure you do a test mist that it's not squirting out funny. Close your eyes, look down and get a makeup lengthening long wear setting spray to go over the eye. This will help that liner to not move. The more you know, we're ready for mascara. I already curled my lashes. We are gonna go in with ChatGPT's recommendation for a dupe of the iconic overcurl mascara from Dior. Really nice beefy brush on here. Uh, and also on here from CoverGirl, the Lash Blast Volume. Let's go in. Whoa, that is nice. I haven't tried this one in a while either. Danger, danger. Just got a little smudge. I'm gonna wait until that dries and scratch it off. I always reiterate this tip. It's one of the best ones. If you goof up and you touch your mascara wand to your face, do not try to wipe it away while it's still wet. Oh my gosh, you will ruin your makeup. Wait till it dries and then just scratch it off. Okay, I feel like the Dior Iconic Overcurl is winning. However, I really like the Lash Blast on the lower lashes better, which is kind of an odd assessment to land on, but that's just how I feel. The Dior just really opened my eyes up a little bit more. Maybe I need another coat of this because this eye suddenly looks so much smaller, right? Like what is going on? And now let's see if my husband can guess correctly which side is luxury and which side is drugstore. Okay, how did ChatGPT do? Tell me which side is which. Ooh, challenge, okay. Now question, with the lipstick, did you do half and half side or a top and bottom? I did a, a half and half, but lip liner and then it's the same gloss everywhere. You know, I'm pretty shocked. Right, like, like, are, you, are you not totally actually shocked? You usually wait, call wait, wait, it, wait, wait, like wait. you hold, usually hold, hold call this, it. This is the thing. I don't think I've ever lost this challenge and this is the first time I'm concerned. Go left to right. All right, now close your eyes and look at the eye makeup. Okay, I'm ready to make my call. Luxury, drugstore. Eh. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a first, that is a first. Wow. Yes. Chat GPT for Chat the Chat GPT did that. No, Are you no, not blown away though? Are you sure this isn't luxury over here? This is drugstore. 
Wow. I know. Pretty freaking speechless. I love how this turned out. I myself like the drugstore side better, which is blowing my mind. I think I'm gonna be using this on the regular, the Infallible Pro Glow 24 hour foundation. So that was like the smash hit moment of this whole video for me. I'm so happy I tried everything out. Also super shocked by how much I absolutely love this Maybelline Fit Me blush in plum. I would have never. Like, I don't know, looking through it, it looks too purple, but putting it on, it was so pretty. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the drugstore side, the luxury side? Do you think you would yourself ask ChatGPT for advice? I don't know, man, I'm kind of in it and am so surprised by the results. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're on the Tati list, go and check your email, make sure you fill everything out. Cool things are happening soon. And if you're not on the list, hop on, it's free. The link will be in the description box below. Other than that, I love you. Go have a good one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.